archives of Prasar Bharti presents the timeless treasure of golden era. Since we are talking about uh, Hindustani violin playing, it is a known fact that uh, your technique and approach to Hindustani violin revolutionized the gayaki uh, yeah. style of playing in hindustani uh-huh. it was a very pioneering effort uh-huh. so if you can just tell us something about your struggles and your your sadhana in that uh-huh. and also probably demonstrate a little bit oh, about yes. i will demonstrate uh, after talking to okay. you in hindustani they will tune pasa pasa and we tune sa pa so they will also put five strings uh-huh. because going upwards difficult for them so okay. within the they will play yeah. but there is no gliding only they put gar 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 bowing second okay. okay. and uh, they will play according that no g- g- glides no glides no no mean no gamaka ah. mm. and they play as uh, just like uh, monotonous okay. only speed only you speed. can enjoy them okay. otherwise that i will demonstrate it okay but in vocal hindustani we are playing with gamakas mm-hmm. vocal style mm-hmm. but our tuning is sapa sapa mm-hmm. after hearing me mm-hmm. now everybody has a change to sapa sapa in north india mm-hmm. i got so many students okay. dk dathar mm-hmm. and uh, gokale mm-hmm. so many persons mm-hmm. they are very much interested mm-hmm. so now and raja mills also playing mm-hmm. but uh, my father used to say mm. if you play hindustani of course both are same that is different mm. but if you play hindustani it must be pure hindustani mm. if you play carnatic it must be pure carnatic don't mix it mm. if you want do that but don't say hindustani okay. <laughs> i will demonstrate yes it. yes that is the carnatic touches should be absent definitely should not uh, come in when ah. you are playing the identity of the two systems should ah. be maintained the technical base is probably the same technical or the all the same technique is the same but the but the musicianship and the, the dharma of the system is maintained ah. yeah. the fingering also they they won't uh, glide glide okay simply putting in, there is no long yeah, the notes yeah the the technique of going beyond the third position what they call no long uh, no okay uh, bowing okay they will play according to their mood okay <laughs> i'm taking maur bihag Hindustan. Mm. 
On a on an allied note, many people also recognize that you made popular certain Hindustani ragas, light ragas, and uh, you made them very popular into Carnatic music performance. Ah. At the end of the concert, yes. ragas like uh, Mand, Shuddha Sarang, Des, ah. uh, Sindhu Bhairavi also, they received a very special treatment in your in your hands. because of this the aesthetics of the hindustani they ha- they had a very special flavor so can you talk a little bit about that and demonstrate some oh yes see if you uh, take this these ragas are called light not heavy mm. say bihag desh sindhu bhairavi so you can't play this heavily mm. because they are meant for light music so if you play that bihag or that only mm. it will give colors mm, okay mond i will play this okay i will take mond mudra okay Can we hear some uh, this? also heard uh, another innovation of yours where you have incorporated a pure tarana uh, kind of a form which is a hindustani form into a carnatic music performance so can we have a little that's in sindhu bhairavi so if you can just play a little bit of that too.
कमाल तराना एलपी ने सराका can make innovations also but this i played the item thank you so much sir being a violinist i know that people are afraid to use the little finger <laughs> because it lacks in strength ah. you know See, but we, uh, you you evolved a technique based on your uh, the slenderness and length ah, of yes. your fingers no no we yes. have to play without the nails mm. the center part must be there mm. and for uh, getting the fourth finger strong we have to practice this all equal mm everybody first and second there mm. but they would use for this one mm. yeah. yeah so you had specific exercises which you only by exercise and practice okay okay ahead and uh, talk about the various uh, awards and uh, recognitions accolades that have come your way you have numerous of them in probably running into 50s and 60s the kinds of awards that you have you have but can you tell us which among them are very uh, special and dear to you in the sense recognitions and titles and awards are nothing new to you but there must be some which occupy a certain a pride of place in your heart mm-hmm. so can you tell us something about i take all the awards in same manner okay because only they are giving i was given by swami shivananda maharaj the great man first violin was the samrat when i play there so if i play there we will forget to pick us the atmosphere ganges and other things and we immerse wherever we play the, the automatic swami ji was happy and give this five first uh, title i got it right. 60 first okay. award uh-huh. then gradually i got the awards and uh, prestigious award because now it in india patma shri okay and sangeet nadak academy uh-huh. and in south uh, sangeet kala nidhi is the prestigious okay by god's grace i got it okay. in andhra pradesh uh, tirupati asthana of the one mm. and in karnataka chaudhary award uh-huh. nadan nidhi mm. and andhra they have also given vidya nidhi okay for me these are all due to my father's blessing and every award mm. i will take it as oh, we have to get more mm. and we should play well mm. and responsibility <laughs> also an inspiration kerala also i got the award <laughs> and now i am going to get this chembe award in okay uh, november 16 wonderful by guru vair pansa asirvad and yeah. my father's blessings yes and every award is gives me that i have to practice so I, because we want to keep the same uh, significance everywhere yes 
because after getting about okay this is enough <laughs> i am not of this man is okay in this way it comes but music is universe there is no end to it you have to till your last breath it will go up don't uh, think i am proud or mm. we are playing well so still more to go not we have to do research on this mm. <laughs> you are doing it <laughs> coming to um, life back at home uh, your children were born in the 70s uh, uh, after your uh, marriage can you tell us how it was uh, bringing up the children and do you remember how they got initiated into music uh, was it was it a formal kind of initiation uh, or did they did they naturally take up to uh, playing the violin or singing because of uh, the atmosphere at at home uh, my wife is the very important uh, tutor okay for engaging us uh, and violin is our uh, instrument family yeah, right? family yeah. so everybody is automatically interested okay. my daughter also they has begun to play from the age of 4 okay he studied by for under my father also uh-huh. uh, that, that then it has come gradually okay. and now we are doing it okay. that's violin automatically but other education other things we look after by my by wife, wife. Okay. studies uh-huh. she's a very sick woman uh-huh. she prepared her children okay. to come first in all these subjects okay. for my daughters as well as for my son okay because uh, I, i have no time <laughs> were you uh, as strict a task master with your children as your father was with you let's say days are over okay. if my father comes i'll be afraid <laughs> but nowadays you have to adjust mm. with our children okay of course if they obey me it uh. is good for them i am lucky uh. they are all obeying obedient me and <laughs> till now <laughs> so during uh, say narmada's early years uh. um did you have an expectation that um she should also follow your path and become a, a concert violinist and shine in her own right did you encourage her in in that way and did you make sure that she she uh. went through the sadhaka uh. and the rigor that you went through definitely she used practice with me okay i will tell her if you practice well uh. you will come up you have to practice 2 to 3 hours per day she okay. used to sit with me okay then we have to learn uh, many repertoires okay and the ways how to play raga mm. how to play kalpana swaras okay then i will also uh, ask her to heard great people's music okay the way violin so everything we must be enough to get get it okay so that is the way we trained her ha huh. she also did it well and also she went for uh, accompanying uh-huh. she accompanied a lot with all the people she has also been playing with you for a long time definitely now. yeah so it's more than also... more than 30 years now yeah and she also learned hindustani uh-huh. from krishnanand and we also taught her because we in our house is full of uh, both the system okay <laughs> so in that way we used to practice with the electronic tabla because okay. no tabla player was available nowadays yeah, yeah, yeah. and of course with tabla in during performances mm-hmm. have played okay. what about your uh, students other than family ah. you said you have a few students ah, yes. abroad and here ah. so can you tell us a little bit about oh, yes. that students will come to me ah. i will first before taking you must practice you must be respect your guru then you have to practice whatever i teach us you must come practice by tomorrow itself mm. and there are two more the three students they came and practice it now they are in holiday radio on chandrasekharan okay. hk narsimhuti and he has trained a number of students okay. and nowadays also there are so many people learning at the advanced class south india also has a rich tradition of institutions such as the annamal university chidambaram university where there is a kalakshetra for example where there is a tradition of teaching indian classical music in an institutional setup uh, do you have any such opportunities to uh, teach in places like these uh, my father used to say if you become a teacher you will lose the charm of performances okay you lose practice uh, there are there were many offers okay. in all india radio uh, first they started national program mm. at that time uh, sir murthy was stationed at madras mm. 
he asked me we have to go to delhi uh-huh. only for a national program for hindustan and carnatic will you go we will offer you at that time 2000 rupees per month okay and my father said no mm. because if you went there there is no scope of uh, learning more okay and if you do the performances you will gain experience and get name yeah if you go for a teacher teacher is you know he teaches well <laughs> yeah <laughs> but what do you think about uh, indian music in as in teaching in institutions is our music uh, amenable to being taught as a group or is it a one to one guru shishya kind of a thing which works better oh yes but gurukula shishya mithi was one of the best mm. that you have to learn from guru straight away mm. at least for 5 to 6 years okay and nowadays there is no time for them and they are give all the gurus are given cassettes and other things okay so they practice and because okay. no time for them because all are employed in office okay and if you want to become a professional violinist uh-huh. you must come say it the way you have to practice for at least minimum 5 to 6 years okay. then only you can become a ordinary uh-huh. violinist <laughs> even Because, after so many years of rigorous practice uh-huh. if i may ask how much time do you spend today practicing today i am doing 2 hours now two hours. okay and i am t- uh, teaching my son and okay. my daughter okay they will come and i will play with them okay two hours because not more than that now okay okay because students will come to our course mm. because i am not taking beginner beginner class my son and the doctor takes okay. if they are free okay but okay. everybody has to come to my house but don't you think that your technique needs grooming from from the beginning stage itself ha huh. if they from beginning it will be beneficial to them beneficial to them because after learning something you have to undo see, correct uh, ah all the technique and first then. we must uh, correct their fingers okay bowing uh-huh. fingering flat notes okay then gliding notes uh-huh. then we, they have to practice janta varsha very says yeah very says but for at least two columns if it's possible three columns uh-huh. and without any apasara without any scratching sound mm mm-hmm. if they they must put that is we will teach them how far they are going to do we don't know okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah your career spans uh, 65 years now uh-huh. you have seen and heard and moved along and seen the passage of time the waves of uh, sangeeta lashed at the shores of your life can you summarize as to where is this all leading how do you see music through the ages that you have been through when i took profession in olden days everybody will come for music and hearing it mm. and even radio program we had to broadcast there if it is even 4 o'clock or 5 because once i in my on on the independence day 1947 all the radio station was in marshall's road ikmore and pandit onkarnath came for a special program for to sing one day mother mm. he especially wanted me and during purposefully time indira gandhi a very dignity came and i took photograph also at that time fakrute ali ahmed was the president president of india and all the dignitaries came during this period also then sankeet nadkar award president venkat raman came the all important people came and blessed me there are so many incidents then in olden days they will come and uh, attend it and they wanted the special thing to hear see so over specialized in music because during that time performances was very Less rare number, rare number yeah. and sabhas are only calling a ah, few you. and they will call once in uh, yearly once or twice at that time in madras only are four or five sabhas mm. in bombay two three and calcutta very rarely mm. now it has grown has grown so many sabhas and yes. so many members yeah. during that time the members will come and wanted the select songs for me and some wants heavy some wants light mm. so we have to adjust the program mm. and minimum 3 hours mm. but i have played for performs or 5 hours also mm. but minimum 3 hours at that time and you had to play rahandan balavi 
in olden days old generation people will start a varnam and already vata piece the main item ham satvani okay then if they sing a varnam kambo jurnam then you can take it as that raga will be rahandarn balavi oh really okay that's olden days they use format part okay. and they give importance to rahandarn balavi mm. so other ragas they will for 5 to 10 minutes mm. but if they come to rahandarn balavi minimum 1 to 1 and 1/2 hours okay. rahatanam different varieties chakratanam mm. adartanam mm. the so many times the five or to six or it is i don't know the correct names okay then they will come to the they will add ganaraham mm. during thanam mm. then come to the main raga mm. then they will sing uh, pallavi mm. naraval naraval this naraval means whatever the words they are giving according to words and the raga mm. it, it must come to precisely mm. hare ram ಗೋವಿಂದ ಮೂರೇ ಮುಕುಂದ ಸೌರೆ ಮೂರಹರ ಸೊ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಮೂರೇ ಮುಕುಂದ ಸೌರೆ ಮೂರಹರ ದಿಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಮೂರೇ ಮುಕುಂದ ಸೌರೇ ಮೂರಹರ ಅಪರ ಹರೇ ರ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಮೂರ ರೇ ಮುಕುಂದ ಸೌರೇ ಮೂರಹರ ರೇ ರ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಮೂರ ಅಂದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಪಲ್ಲೆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ರಾಗ ವಿತ್ ತಾಳ ಬಟ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಇನ್ ರಾಗ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ರಿಥಿ Mm. but when you play tana it, it has to come with rhythm mm. and in the instrument we have to put so many types of bow mm. in vocal there are so many types of tanas mm. and the older people to used to it okay nowadays uh, then they will give in performance two tanyartham for pratangam mm. one is uh, important for rahnarn balavi before that they will sing a big com- uh, composition mm. then give tanyartham mm. that it will be very happy to note that because mm. we cannot see the people at the mm. time mm-hmm. and all the vidwans will be there that is most it was uh, mysore mas samasthanam mm. tirvendra asthanam mm. so those all the scholars are invited there mm. and they will be given asthan vidwans mm. asthan vidwan means providing all the amenities mm. with house meal stay mm. and during the festival he has they have to come and uh, sing mm. and king will be very pleased and give golden todas mm. to the artist my father also got it from mysore okay hyderabad and uh, ramanathapuram there are so many samasthanams mm. now this uh, kingdom has gone okay now people are doing it sabhas are coming yeah. that is a modern trend because <laughs> we can't help okay. in sabhas you know it there are members and so many usually they put good performances in olden days mm. they recognized people mm. and now artists have come the number of artists are increasing and violinists mm. and everybody plays well mm. and sabhas also keep so many of them more than 100 sabhas in metra mm. <laughs> and all the sabhas some sabhas are repeating the same artists mm. some sabhas are introducing new artists mm. that is a trend now but okay. music music has improved mm. but quality in olden days now quality is coming to some extent okay. nowadays okay. and audience before that they will sit for sit uh, three or two four mm. hours nowadays they won't sit for more than two hours mm. and within two hours we have to cater them so mm. we have to forget randan balavi mm-hmm. because nobody has the patience in randan balavi they mm-hmm. want many items in better of just like things mm-hmm. you are buying from store yeah. they don't for longer duration of ragas now in this one also it has come now it has come down yeah. usually if you take a khyal minimum one hour they will sing say amir khan mm-hmm. they are very strict they won't change vilayat khan mm-hmm. but here this has I think come. the paddhati the format of the concert has changed ah. 
now for example in hindustani you have conference uh, evening you have three concerts in uh, one evening uh, so everybody sings for uh, one one to one and a half uh, hours that format has changed uh, i think um, going with the times of packaging in things into more tighter compartments that uh, leisure is not there uh, yeah so but hindustani one good thing is there if morning they have the performance they will sing only morning ragas mm. and afternoon ragas mm. evening ragas mm. night midnight mm. they are strictly today also they are following to mm. some extent and there are so many ragas in that time yeah and because according now in uh, south indian systems also there used to have so it so in yeah. morning we have to take uh, bhairavam mm. uh, saveri bilagari mm. mm. varali and mm. that thing in afternoon madhyamavati that's mm. called a madhyamavati evening now because ragas we like are having and... only one time performance so we have to sing all the ragas at same time yes that is nowadays we have to sing that way yeah and just like uh, nescaf mm. they wanted immediate result yeah so within 3 minutes they would like to, that's a very <laughs> difficult for us <laughs> see if you get uh, heating get the warming mug it will mm. take time but before that they will sing the raga will finish <laughs> but people have no patience yeah. can you also uh, talk a little bit about the media like today like you said every media uh, you have 24 hours of a radio private radio public radio tv uh-huh. cds internet music is accessible very easily today uh-huh. the the value attached to it like you say uh-huh. that a concert was a rarity people used to look forward to it uh-huh. that there is a concert happening they'll prepare for it uh-huh. now the human tendency is that since it's easily available uh-huh. the value with which we attach to it is probably lesser uh-huh. so can you talk about the good and bad of course the plus point is uh-huh. our music is reaching every place of of the world much uh, easily uh, so for this i will give full credit to akashwadi mm. because they are they introduced concerts mm. and public will get more publicity even all the artists mm. and they have put grades mm. and they having a special concert for 75 minutes mm. on certain days mm. that they are kissel came and television also uh-huh. of course television is commercial uh-huh. but all india radio gives classical for import now national program uh-huh. and a specially musical to course mm. uh, two concerts on wednesdays mm. and for uh, devotional songs everything separately mm. that we have to credit to the all india radio okay. and they have put grades also mm. so that's the best thing mm. i appreciate them Wonderful. because i am playing more than uh 40 50 years in the radio <laughs> and i i started from b uh. b high uh, from b to i come to a okay. a top okay. <laughs> now a national artist okay. so i'm lucky because radio is doing a human service now they are doing this archives Ar- yeah. it will be useful yes. now they have also released old stalwarts uh, cd cds yes so, so otherwise we would not ah, get to listen to them yeah. because you can here some of mm. how they sang and that we have to take the lessons from them the how uh, how much labor they have yes. my father used to say uh. when you go for a performance uh. when they play a new sangati uh. then he will tell how much labor he has put on that mm. not only sangati uh. and how much time it has come it has to, uh, try yeah. it in your house uh. then, then you, you will, will know see. and when you play they must not think that you are a tired man ah. with it seems effortless effortless yes and they don't know we are only if we put bow ah. and they will think it's a easy one <laughs> but even they touch they that, that's they the aim oh, yeah my father it say ah. and raha playing also okay. and use new prayogas mm. Ex- explore it yeah. nowadays certain sangeetis are common de 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 tan han han sangra parana na 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 without this uh. they won't release the kathodi argamadi de 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 this is other type new one yeah. there are so many ways uh. that we have to explore it for mind and if you sing you have to sing with devotion mm. that it will shine mm. without simply thinking mm. there's no music nowadays trend is uh, 
everybody wants to become an artist. Mm. And they, they, they have no patience mm. because they are all taking office going people. Mm. So we are interested. Mm. And so many people are, are not uh, professionals, mm. but they are appreciating good music. Mm. So many non-musicians. Mm. Because we appreciate, after, if we hear them, they will tell the ragas. Huh. And it, uh, it will tell, see that A has sing that way, huh. and B is singing yes. the same ragas. <laughs> same. Okay. There are so okay. many channels. Okay. We are coming to the close of this archiving session. As a final question, I would like you to talk to the younger generation, tell them something which will inspire them, ah. uh, some piece of advice, ah both philosophically, technically, as well as musically, as to how they can let music enrich their lives in in more meaningful and successful uh-huh. ways. If you can share some of your yes. uh, thoughts and uh, yes. advise them. Uh-huh. That is, if you start from the age of 6 to 12, it's a one stage. Because as a child, whatever you know, you won't forget after the years of 50 also. Mm. From 12 to 20, the other stage. Then 20 to 32. Till that time, if you practice well, then we have to play with experience. Whatever you played in these younger days, it will help you after the attaining age of 50 or 60. Okay. And we have to practice sincerely. At least 2 to 3 hours a day. And number of repertoire. And say, practicing gender very says with proper with surti without surti nobody can mm. sing violin or vocal mm. and for the younger people if they want to be become a musician they must devote mm. at least four to five years mm. at the rate of four hours per day at least okay. and hear what are the senior things mm. and they can't criticize mm. see nowadays Oh, what, what he thinks, what he <laughs> thinks. That is not the way. Because no, I have no right to criticize them. Because it happens. See, we are injuring our hand. It happens. So, we have to, next time, we have to make it clear. That my father used to advise. If you play on Apasvara, don't do it in another performance. Make the perfection. This is the way, if students are come, they have to practice and sitting posture straight, they have to sit, not uh, any short or so. Uh-huh. And uh, have, saying the audience also. And without, with a smiling face, it will be mm. nice to see them. Okay. Correct bowing, fingering, handling. Uh-huh. It, it is very important, my father used to say. Mm. And the future students, if they come straight with devotion, mm. and after this also, they must give respect to their teachers. Mm. They can't judge the way the teacher taught, but they can take good things from others and they will try to keep up some original notes mm. from them. It will be nice. Okay. And uh, nowadays, if you want music to progressive, all the schools and inner you know, city, mm. they must insist music at least weekly ones. Mm. Otherwise, younger generation, they are hearing only cinema music. Yeah. We can't find fault them. Mm. So whatever they have in this small year, it will come automatically. Mm. So if you make them study at least one lesson in a two, once in twice once in a week, week yeah. see, just the first they will start devotional songs, bhajans, mm-hmm. because they they won't like classical heavy. Gradually, Gradually you can must make them to come. They have to attend the good performance. Then only what is mixed they will. Otherwise, uh, it's very difficult. Now, so government are encouraging to some extent, giving some scholarship and this. Mm. But very important thing is, they must make music a must, at least weekly, twice, you mm. know, from schools to yes. college. Number of music colleges are very less nowadays. Okay. Number of students are very less because there is no scope. They have to encourage, that's my uh, wish. I will advise them yeah. to do this. Thank you very much, yeah. sir. Good luck. MSG, sir, uh, for the past many hours, uh, you have shared so generously with us uh, 
many many dear aspects of your life yeah. your your learning under your father yeah. very historical moments in your professional career yeah. and of course it is going to be so inspiring and educational for people who get a chance to listen to this archival recording yeah. i thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you thank, thank you, you.